Hello, chess lovers, Soren here, and in today's video, I want to share with you another brutal attacking game played by Polish chess grandmaster Michal Krasenkov. Earlier, I've already published the sharp game played by Krasenkov. This position is from that game. In here, he went for queen takes b5. And in case you missed this wonderful game, the link I will pin in the comment section. But meanwhile, here is another gem by Krasenkov. His opponent is renowned Russian chess grandmaster Yevgeny Sveshnikov. And this game is from 1992 Tal Memorial, which took place in Moscow. Krasenkov opened up with knight f3 to which Sveshnikov answered with d5. d4, knight f6 c4 e6 with queen's gambit declined three knights variation and black is setting up the solid slav defense queen c2 bishop d6 and g4 krasenkov is playing very aggressively and he's playing shabalov attack he's sacrificing his g pawn on move seven and the sacrifice was accepted uh, although black is not forced to accept the sacrifice, can also play, for example, h6. That's something, for example, Fernando Berton played that same year against Kasparov. Yeah, against when you're playing against Kasparov, it's risky to accept sacrifices. That's why uh, Berton chose a more humble, more solid h6 continuation. But in this game, we have knight takes g4. Black is accepting the challenge, rook g1, white is now managing to open up the rook, uh, the g file for the rook, which can allow him to put further pressure. Uh, of course, now you won't go for rook takes g7 because of the winning move, let us know in the comment section, please. That's why we have e4, d takes e4, knight takes e4, check, bishop d2, an exchange on bish f bishops on d2 followed, knight f5, white castled queenside, knight f6, bishop d3, meanwhile white is completing the development, is connecting the rooks, and black is also castling, black is castling kingside, and here we go guys. White is preparing to double up his rooks on the g file. Meanwhile, we also see an exchange of knights on e4, queen f6, knight e5, rook d8, a serious mistake which is losing. According to Stockfish, in here you should play queen h6 and offer the exchange of queens. But instead we have rook d8 and now let's see what's the problem with it. Can you find White's upcoming moves? Well, look here, we have knight g4, and after queen e7, White went for bishop takes f5. This is a forced line, by the way. He takes f5, knight h6, check, king h8. And so, if you fail to see the, co the combination up to the end, which is, by the way, a pretty difficult task to complete, then at least from this point on, try to figure out how to proceed with the white pieces. Here we go, guys. Krasenkov played rook takes g7. A brilliant, a very impressive rook sacrifice landed. Then came rook g1 check, king h8, and with his next move, white forced the resignation. And that move is queen e2. What a beautiful queen sacrifice. What a beautiful de deflection. Black resigned if queen takes e2, then checkmate. The queen is no longer protecting the pawn. If queen f6, then queen e5 is winning. And if bishop e6, then, then knight f7 check. Yes, queen f7. Queen e5 check. By the way, let's go back to move 18 in here when black played queen e7. Uh, if you play, for example, queen h4, then turns out that even in this case, this combination is possible to bring into life. Now, if king f8, then rook takes g7 again. King takes g7 check. King f8. Queen e3. Now the threat is checkmate. And if bishop e6 blocking the e-file, securing this square for the king, then 
Anyways, rook g8 check, king e7, and knight f5 fork is winning. Turns out that even on e7, the king is not safe and the fork is winning. But in the game, we saw queen e7 continuation, then came bishop f5, knight h6, rook g7. A very, very impressive combination by Krasenkov, queen e2, black resigned. I'm sure you enjoyed the attack a lot, feel free to share it with your friends as well. In the end, the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the white pieces. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.